Are you, are you looking for Pokemon yet? No, nah, I'm not. Oh. I'm not into the Pokemon no, thing. It's just not my thing. It's real. Pokemon. It's real, bro. It was right next to Chris. Oh my goodness. It's next to me? We're, no, we're safe now, everyone. No. I can't. Yeah, this, this is not it, bro. Yo, if I cut it with a razor, is that against, like, Pokemon rules? Go ahead, bro. Check it out, bro. Hey, bro. I got one, bro. Where's it at? I got one, bro. Look for this guy. Oh, man, I'm sold now, bro. Bro. They hooked you up, like... Bro, they gave me a medal for catching this guy I just caught. So. Hey, hold on your chair, Chris. <laughs> yeah. bro. Yo, literally between you and Mike, there was three Pokemon. Yo, I saved you guys lives, bro. Either y'all got something to do with this Pokemon movement. Nah, it's headlines, that's the juice. Hairlines? You mean headlines? Damn, man. So disrespectful. I got that on camera. I got that on camera. That was funny. Well, we got to shave one of your eyebrows off for being disrespectful, man. You know, like back in the day when you steal, they cut your hand off, bro. I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go on, go on the barbershop. Right you you disrespect, they shave my eyeball off. No, bro. Ha hairlines got the juice. Hairline. Which one is it? Is it gonna be the left or the right? <laughs>
So it's 11 o'clock and one of our chairs broke down. So we are here replacing the chair and that's what you saw Beavis and Butthead doing. <laughs> crushing, <laughs> crushing our fingers at the door frame. Hold on we're bro. About to, we're about to scratch these cars up. Just right, keep watching. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mike. Congratulations. Mike just won a new, brand new Pibs. Thanks to Alfonso. Thanks to Alfonso. Wow. No thanks to you. Open it, Mike. Open it. I feel like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> just don't know what to do with my life. Mike, it's right probably now. really a microwave, bro. Disguise the chair. Relax. Let me enjoy my moment, okay? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Good. Look at that sturdy steel right there. If you're gonna buy a chair, you gotta you gotta buy them right. You gotta get a Mr. Pibbs. Anything else is subpar. Chris, mm -hmm. let him know that that chair was built from refurbished toasters. Some American-made, built from look refurbished look at, toasters. Look at this stitching. Would you look at it? Let's just say Mike came up look with some it. big old excuse of why he needed yep. a Pibbs chair. Because My neck is tired of being strained. Yeah, supposedly. When you're when you're over six foot and you're not a small guy like Chris Bossio sitting at a six foot. <laughs> your neck uh, tends to take a toll. Well, congratulations, bro, and you're welcome. I appreciate that. Right, welcome to the side, bro. I'll tell him when I do my own. I see you got that powder fresh. I got you, Chris. Damn, bro. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Relax. Damn, bro. You got, he got me bad, though. I got him Damn. last week. Alright, first of all, your boy's face is looking crazy. Ignore it, please. Um, we on our way to, um, we're on our way to headlines number five. No. How many headlines we got? One, two, three, four. All right, we got five headlines, five shops. I'm not going crazy. We got five shops. We are on our way to our fifth location. I know the last vlog I said get, uh, Gibson Center was number five. That's actually number four. Number five is Lando Lakes, and it's in the LA Fitness Plaza. You guys saw a little bit of it. We're going to go, you saw, like, the beginning. Like, it really wasn't the beginning, because there was a lot of walls there that, that Danny had knocked down. But we're going to go over there. I'm going to try to help out as much as I can. Do some some um, some back office stuff, and um, maybe a little bit of painting, and then come home and do something with the family. But, um... Let's see the let's see the progress. Danny's a beast, so Danny and Chad. Chad Chad's been helping Danny out, so let's see the progress. All right, so there's gonna be a sign up there. It says uh, it's gonna have like a barber guy, barber dude with a uh, barber. And uh, looks like Danny's already hanging mirrors. These guys ain't playing. So, we almost there, but of course Danny ain't here yet, so I gotta wait for him to get here from Publix. And then uh, we'll get working. All right, there goes Danny right there. When you get into the big truck, you need to shave gel off deck. <laughs> There's a sound system in here. We didn't do that, we bought it like that, but, none, but it's still dope. Danny put up a whole lot of lights. Some are LED, some are fluorescent. Looks good. Obviously we gotta paint. Put some floors. The barbershop before it's a barbershop. It's been a while since I've been to uh, this location. So this is our new Tampa location. Super busy location. LA Fitness Plaza, we like the gyms. And, uh, Yo, what? <clears throat> what up, Sam? <laughs> Hello, how are you, sir? Hey, how you doing? 
you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Chris, can you change the song? Alright, so I'm sure you're wondering what's going on. Let me explain. I got challenged in the barbershop. At Headlines, we give each other crap all the time. We talk a lot of smack. But today, today, Christian Perez tried me, okay? And I get it, whatever. Got a little bit of a belly. Almost developing a dad bod. But he tried me. He said, Victor does more pu can do more push-ups than you. So he bet $20, and we decided to have a push-up competition right there on the spot, in the barbershop, no excuses. I'll let you guys watch for yourselves. How you doing? 40. <laughs> just another push up competition, don't worry. Right. You got an appointment? Nah, it's fine. You got good in the end. You can step right over him, it's cool. Right. It's okay, man. You can just go back there, too. It's just another push up competition. You're daily one of the barbershop. 60. He was a walking through. What's the one? He thought, yeah, he ain't said no. I didn't know that one. That's why. I don't have a spot. 65. That's my bad. Right Yo, Bazio's eyes were like, oh shit. <laughs> He's like, damn. I go. Come on, Vic, get to 80. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Yo, put eye on the tiger on for him. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Feet away. Yo, you pay up, Chris? Uh oh. Uh, 72. Oh, boy, pay up. Five. Hell, 36. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Eight, 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 he set the record. Woo! Uh, <laughs> uh, you still ain't winning yet. He gotta go. No, I ain't winning. You're ready, Joel. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so I know what you're gonna say. We both had crappy, um, we both had crappy form. He didn't go down all the way. I didn't go up all the way. Whatever you're gonna say. At the end of the day, we both had even crappy form, and I won. All right, I won't hear nothing. But that's not what I wanna, you know, focus my attention on. What I wanna focus my attention on is the fact that, you know, Victor's been cutting hair a long time. I've been cutting hair almost seven years, and we still try to stay fit. We still try to stay in shape because. Nobody's responsible for our health but ourselves, and we're dependent on it. We're dependent on being healthy in order to work. Especially as a barber, I mean, we don't, we can't depend on somebody else to create health benefits for us or retirement funds for us. You know, we don't depend on another person, like another company or, or, or whatever it may be, to have a 401k for us or, or health insurance for us. We have to take responsibility for ourselves and make it happen. Like, do your due diligence and go get yourself health insurance. Go make your own retirement fund. Like, how are you going to retire? But, you know, that's just some of the, that's just what it brought up. That's, you know, having that clip in the, in the, having that clip in the vlog just made me think about it. And let's discuss it. Let's talk about it. I mean, in the comments below, you know, share your information. Let us know how you got your health insurance, what you're doing about it, how you're, um, you're planning for retirement. 
how you're planning for retirement as a barber. And I'll partake in the conversation. I think it's something that we don't do enough in the barber industry. And I think it's important. So please comment below. Let's talk about it. But nonetheless, let's get back to the vlog because I've been dying to show you guys what we did to the big truck. <sighs> that gets to drive this truck all the time. And I'm the shortest manager. Because he's gonna be at the new location. I'm probably, Kevin's probably taller than me and Abby. And we need him to, uh, we're gonna need him to drive this to the new location every day to help build up traffic. So, Matt, you are one lucky guy. Thank you, sir, thank you. Hope you guys liked the vlog this time. Definitely subscribe, share, comment below all that good stuff it means the world to me it's important for me i want to continue seeing the channel grow i think it's important for the industry as well and i didn't get to do i didn't get to do like a story time and nothing like that um i definitely wanted to piggyback off of the last vlog but we're not gonna do it this vlog we'll do it the next had too much stuff going on love you guys